Hey Oki Tools here and this is going to be my video on doing the front brakes on a Pontiac G6. I believe this is a 2009. These are the brake pads that I chose. They are uh, Power Stop Evolution Plus uh, OE Ceramic brake pads and I got them from rockauto.com. Uh, if you don't know about them go ahead and check them out. They got great prices. And uh, the more you buy from them, the more discounts they send you uh, through your email. So that's pretty cool. And um, here's the part number for them. They are 17-1028. And they are the Z17 Evolution Plus Ceramic Brake Pads. And they come with hardware. Let's go ahead and open it up. Come with uh, the clips. And then the brake pads down here at the wheel and uh, got it jacked up properly with the jack stands in there and uh, wheel chocks in the back so safety first on that just keep that in mind so it has this uh, false hub cap on here and then um, this these uh, false lug nuts here so you just take those lug nuts you just screw them off they're screwed on there a little you screw them off and then I think the whole thing comes off so I just use my uh, uh, speed handle here and get them off real fast So we got the wheel off. So these are 14 millimeter bolts for the pins. So you gotta uh, loosen those up and I just use my breaker bar with the 14 millimeter socket. So that one's broke loose. That one's broke loose. And then I just use uh, my air ratchet to take them off the rest of the way. Okay, so I got the bolts off, so go ahead and pull the caliper off. Carefully. And you don't want it to hang on the line. So what I have here is a uh, coat hanger. And uh, just slip it through that little hole right there. And uh, set it right up here. That way it doesn't fall off and you have that up here to, to uh, hook on to. So uh, here's the brake pads. I'll go ahead and take those off. And as you can see, they are uh, worn down pretty far, so uh, good thing we're replacing these. And then here's the old clips. It comes with new clips, so we'll take those off too. Rubber looks pretty good, so we won't mess with that. So we got the new clips in and I used uh, some uh, lubricant between them and the uh, uh, bracket here uh, so that if, if there's any sort of water or moisture that gets in there it doesn't rust them up or anything and that just kind of keeps them from uh, squeaking. And then I have uh, the uh, new brake pads here and I just kind of put some of my little uh, lubricant there a little uh, just to... Uh, to keep them from uh, squeaking a little and this is the one with the um, uh, wear indicator right there and uh, I like to put it on the uh, back side just because it makes it a little bit easier to install so there it is in the back easy peasy and then here is the one for the front ok 
<laughs> so there's both of them. So all we need to do now is uh, push the uh, piston back into the caliper. And we can go ahead and put it back on, start bolting everything else up. So I got my uh, eight inch clamp on here and it goes right down there inside the piston. And then I got it right back here. And this is uh, on my coat hanger, so it's not hanging on the line. And uh, just go ahead and start turning and it starts pushing that piston down in there. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's starting to push it down in there. So uh, that's all you do. You keep going until you get it down to where you think you need to, uh, to fit over the new pads and you're good to go. Also, you want to open the cap on your, um, uh, where your brake fluid goes above there in the brake, res brake fluid reservoir above the master cylinder because um, it will uh, uh, build up pressure behind it uh, as you're pushing it back in. So you want that to be able to come up. If you need to take any out of it because it raises up too high, uh, then you can. See, so the piston is back inside the caliper and uh, the brake pads are on there where they need to be with the new clips. So go ahead and set it over them and then go ahead and get your bolts and start installing them. I like to use a ratchet uh, to put them back on instead of air tools. I guess it doesn't matter. It's just me. Just snug that down. Snug that one down. So they're both snug down now. And um, what you're ready to do is you're ready to put the uh, wheel back on and drop it down and get everything torqued up. And don't forget to uh, pump your brake pedals to reseat the piston against the, uh, the pads uh, to uh, get everything back together and tighten up like uh, to seated like it's supposed to be. And then uh, I would also uh, spray some uh, brake cleaner on here before you actually put the wheel back on just because you've been touching all this. and. Uh, you may have been wearing gloves, but still just kind of clean everything up. Uh, this was my video on doing the uh, front brakes on a Pontiac G6, and I believe this is a 2009. Thanks for watching.